That's Nick. There's Steve. There's George, and this is the video. This is the video show where we watch videos. We find VHS <laughs> tapes and uh, we watch them. That's what we do on the show. Simple as that. I think happy Fourth of perfectly. July, by the way, everybody. Yeah, happy Fourth. Uh, uh, this is an exciting show. We got some patriotic content. Um, we have a special guest with us too. Our old pal Greg Deliso here is here, and he's a movie director and editor, and he also runs the VCR Party Found Footage TikTok. So he's got. Uh, what's the premise here? What's he going to be doing? He's going to. So here's the thing. We're we're like so hands off with the TikTok thing. I don't. I have TikTok. The I have the app on my phone. I I I don't know. It's too young for me. I'm too old for it. And so I I'm scared of it. And so we mm -hmm. hired Greg to uh, to do it for us. And we I don't I have no idea how it's doing, but apparently it's doing very well. And he says we're going to be astonished by the views that these videos have been getting. So I guess we're pretty good on TikTok and we're going to find out more details. Yeah, later. I think it's far more popular than this show. So we should be doing this the other way around maybe, but no. I think, yeah, maybe we're some scared. folks who only watch this show mm -hmm. will learn a little something about what's popular with the young set from our stuff. Um, hey, I want to show uh, a couple of videos that uh, came in. They just keep flooding in, Nick. There's just no stopping them. Really? I think, I think this is uh, Bob Hedges. This is a, a knife fighting video. And I feel like this is this is a major genre, isn't it? Knife fighting? Like, we yes. have so many knife fighting videos. Time. I've I've never seen this knife fighting video before. Here's another one. Um, I'm just going to show you this side of it, and then you got to guess. What is TRS? What do you think this video is about? George, Steve, Nick, the what do you think? Something system. Uh, okay. <laughs> we lost Steve. Steve yeah, Steve, Steve doesn't want any part of this. Uh, <laughs> I think Steve's scared of the TikTok part of the show. Yeah, I think that that's what scared. it is. It's too um, all right. I'm going to show it to you before Steve gets back. It's a, uh, what does it say? Secret <laughs> stage <laughs> fighting revealed. Yeah. All right, TRS. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Exactly. So uh, don't tell Steve, though. When he comes back, don't tell Steve. All right, he'll never know what TSR stands for. I just got a couple of new ones. This is, uh, you know, every, we think we've seen all of the workout videos. We've got a reggae-specific workout tape. Okay. 
Wow. So, I like that Starburst there. That Starburst is uh, really bursting. Oh, totally. It's certified by the American Association of Ar- uh, American Aerobic Association International. But not oh, the American old. Reggae Association. I noticed that star is no. not there. So. Is it American or is it international? Make up your mind. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> then who's, who's on that board? Is it like Richard Simmons, Jane Fonda? Tony Little's like, got to be Ziggy on there. Ziggy on there. Jack yeah. LaLanne was an emeritus. <laughs> Um, and then this one, I was excited to show Steve, but, you know, he just seems to abandon us lately. This is a uh, workout with Daddy and me. And oh, so cute. right there, that's Steve, and that's his daughter, Elodie, right there. Oh, she's Italy. grown. Cute. Yeah. Steve, yep. Steve wears that outfit all the time, too. Well, so. if I have anything to do with it, he will. So yeah. the hits keep on coming. It's a bright future ahead for VCR Party. Uh, but should we get into a, a classic that has to do with Fourth of July? Yeah. yeah, I'm worried about Steve, but I think he'll be okay. I think he'll find his way back. Okay. You caught me with my pants down, but no one sells carpet or waterbeds for less. I mean, this is a classic only in our definitions, I think. But we have to do this every 4th of July. It's Beginner's Close yes. Proximity Pyrotechnics DVD Edition, Volume 44 of the series. <laughs> Speaking of Starburst, look at that Starburst. That Starburst. Well, that's a firework. Oh, that's, oh, that's why a firework. it's, it's, oh, okay. a, it's a pyrotechnic. Right. I, that's that's yeah. an illegal Starburst right there. Right. Well, um, it's in close proximity to her, and she's wearing the wrong type of uh, fabric, I think. Wh- no, why, don't we, yeah. why don't we watch this video more often? This was like, this is a cl- an instant classic when you played it like two years ago. It was a contender for video of the year. We should be watching this one daily. It, well, yeah. I mean, it's extremely tedious, but I think that's what you like about it. And it's like, you know, I thought we get um, Fourth of July started with as explosive as a video as we could. Um, and so it's a seminar about fireworks used in, you know, trade shows and theatrical productions, basically, hosted by this woman, Amanda. And, uh, you know, I think that safety f- around pyrotechnics should be boring, right? I mean, it, it shouldn't be. You should get into disagree. it. For the, well, really? Hard okay. disagree on that one. I think it should be flashy and fun. Well, I, think I'll they tell should, you, I think they should wrap you the instructions on it. I'll, I'll tell you where they had fun with it was in the transitions. They used almost every transition in their video editor at the time. So uh, let's watch. One more thing. One more yeah. thing. The, the cover. I mean, it's a fireworks video. You could have like fireworks burst all over, but instead they put Amanda on the cover. Uh, well, like I always but, say, sex sells. So I think if you are a pyrotechnic, Amanda McLean is the best in the biz. She means business. And okay. uh yeah, so you'll see here. Here's some uh, highlights. Here's some, just the transitions. Oh, here we go. I'm in theater since I was 14, and I've been working with close proximity for 25 years. Uh, The last many years, I've been working over in Europe. The most important thing in close proximity pyrotechnics, for every inch diameter of a shell, you have to have 70 feet safety distance. For close proximity, you have a whole different situation, different situations, different problems. Um, but what would you say are the chart. main differences? They don't want you getting anywhere around them. Um, it's like curtains. You have to just find out yourself Opening. what your state requires, if you need a license there or not. But you will need evidence of insurance. You got distracted. But there are other differences with the effects. But this is how, this is one of the differences, particles up around. So you said, okay, now you've told us all these really bad things that can happen. And you can see, normally, the front of a stage, containers and in bags for that reason. As long as you stay away, static cannot cause a problem. It doesn't make that spark. The main thing is, uh, different things like that. There's a lot of things. And that's the thing you have to maintain all the time. 
And it's important, okay. and please, I hope you all have something with you. Please, Wednesday, when you come, you need to wear cotton. You need to not wear synthetics because synthetics build up a static charge like this turf. Do not wear shorts. <laughs> Oh, uh, the best part is when those guys are just kind of walking through, like walking yeah. in. They didn't know there was a video being made, let alone number 44 of the series was being I know. made. And she uh, got distracted herself. I think she, too, was bored. But the other thing that she was saying while she was bored and got distracted is that they have to come back Wednesday and wear hmm. cotton. So this is a multi-day seminar, and that's just on volume 44 of the series. So. Well, should we have her on? I found her on LinkedIn, Amanda McLean Nixon. She has since be gotten married. Oh, really? And she yeah, runs yeah. a, she was at, working for Lunatech when that was made. Yep. Lunatech, which I didn't really think about till I said it out loud is hilarious. <laughs> but oh, she worked, Lunatech. she now runs Pyro Am Incorporated. Interesting. Yeah. Well, this particular video, volume, volume 44, is two hours long. Mm. So, you know, that's what I had to watch to put together <laughs> just those transitions that we watched just now. 88 so, hours the, of content right, yep. between that so far. There are 43 before them all about safety also? about. I, I don't know. I It says volume 44 of a series, I guess, about indoor pyrotechnics. Yeah. So, oh, boy. Yeah. We should we should just have like a Twitch show that is just watching this series of, of videos. I don't know. Like, Steve, do you want to do that one? I'd love wanna... to. Yeah, 44 okay. hours. That's what I need. New child. Yeah, let's get oh, it's, together. It's probably way more than that. It's like two hours each, so like at least 88 <laughs> hours. I remember getting snookered the first time I think you guys played a video that I saw was exciting or not exciting. And I was like, pyrotechnics has got to be exciting. <laughs> right. The old bait and switch on that one. Well, I think we argued we that it was exciting because of the transitions. It was yeah. like everyone yeah. on the on the video mixer. They pressed every and, button, just ran their arm her, around. And her shirt did have some like explosive like... Uh, patterns yeah. on there of it like sparkly, so and, like, yeah. yeah. I find safety exciting. I don't know about you guys, but yeah. Steve, what um, uh, what's going on behind you there? Well, Are I'm you glad you asked. With us? Are you gonna stay with well, us? What, I think I've realized the leaving? issue. My computer is too old and can't run with this new software, so I should have figured that out. But uh, from now on, I'll I'll either have to use it. I'm working using my work computer now, so from now I on, knew we should have started paying Steve at some point. He's, he's <laughs> yeah, broke. No, no, he's don't. Well, broke you know. Now. The okay. Commodore 64, while it has a great theme song, <laughs> it's just not great for StreamYard. So. It's not keeping um, up with you. No, it's not keeping up with me. Thank you, George. Um, so uh, this week I'm selling out for the band Quiet Man. Uh, they have a new record out, 714, on Riff Merchant, Cursed Monk, and Astroland Records called The Starving Lesson. It's described as sludgy, noisy, psychedelic record in the vein of the Melvins or Swans. Uh, if those touchstones are meaningless, it's exactly like the rapping trucker, except there's no rapping, nobody drives a truck, and there's a lot more feedback and screaming. And <laughs> did we play rapping trucker on the show before? Oh, I think we did I, on bastard tapes. Bastard tapes uh, are audio uh, podcast, right? Of course. Uh, did, okay. you, did you see Nick and I? Like both of our ears perked up as soon as they said <laughs> like, rapping trucker. <laughs> It, it like seemed like just an inside joke, and what I, I'm always surprised that other people know what things are. That <laughs> I love yeah. it. Well, wow. as VCR uh, party viewers are fans of general weirdo media, um, Ross, whose uh, band this is, feels that the Melindos will get a kick out of this. Um, they're going to be doing a run of tour dates in the Northeast this week. Come catch them and say hi. Uh, Seven six in Philadelphia at Ort Leaves. Uh, Bad time for a pop-up to come up. 7-7, Wilmington, Delaware at Oddity Bar. 7-8, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at Remedy Bar. 7-9 in Baltimore. It says Massachusetts, but I, or I guess it's Maryland, MA. At the Crown, uh, come out and say hey and talk some VHS with the band. Uh, Any but New York shows? I would go. None on this, but I would say oh. go follow them at um, on Instagram and you'll get all the updates. There. Okay. Support yeah. the Melinda's that support us. Thank you so much, Ross, for selling out. Yeah. I Excellent will support seller. anybody who makes a rap and trucker reference. Absolutely. And I like <laughs> yeah, the artwork, here. too. I like the artwork a lot, too. So. All for it. Um, yeah, support the Melinda's who support us. Uh, hey, you want to get some celebrity bullshit? I got some. Yeah, I absolutely do. Yes, please. Uh, so I, I, I went back to the Swanberg well. I... Uh, I imported a lot of Swanberg in the last couple of weeks. Uh, Dennis Swanberg, he's this uh, Christian comic. Excuse me. And he uh, 
Uh, well, the breathy of... burps usually don't start this early. This is uh, I know. Make, make I, a wish, everybody. Me too. <laughs> That's how you know it's going to be a good show. Play the lottery tonight. <laughs> it snuck up on me this early. So, uh, so yeah, Dennis Swanberg. He is this Christian comic, and he does celebrity impersonations uh, impressions. And uh, I thought that would be good enough for this week in celebrity bullshit. So, uh, Nick, I feel like you've probably seen some of these. Mm. Um, okay, and, so I will uh, recuse myself from guessing which celebrities he's doing. Well, again, like I said, he always starts off the impression with their name. So he's like, right. I, I always think of old Ronald Reagan when I, well, mommy. You know, yeah. he like starts mm-hmm. and tells them what it is. Right. Um, so it's kind of cheating, but... Anyway, here's Dennis Swanberg for This Week in Celebrity Bullshit. Living a life of love and laughter with Dennis Swanberg, inspirational speaker, TV personality, and world-class comedian. His down-home charm and heaping helping of hospitality have made him America's Minister of Encouragement. Lesson one of the study is entitled, Laughter from the Rafters. Those gutsy go-getters, those, those four that went after their paralyzed buddy. I, I've often wondered if one of them was sort of John Wayne-ish, you know? Hey. <laughs> Let's go and get Harley. He needs the Lord, needs to be touched, needs to be healed. I believe the Lord can touch him. Anyone want to go with me? Nick, didn't you used to do a John Wayne impression? I remember like you did them in, in sixth grade. Yeah, at my uh, between fifth and sixth grade, I did a, impressions at a talent show, and I did John Wayne. Never seen a John Wayne movie at that time, but... I'd probably seen Rich Little's impressions of the, the man and sort of did well, my best approximation of his impression of John Wayne. And then did it get laughs at the... Killed. Absolutely destroyed. Yeah, it did. How did how did kids know about Because other kids probably hadn't seen, didn't know anything about John Wayne because they hadn't seen they, it like you hadn't. They probably had seen the Saturday Night Live Phil Hartman impression and all the other ones that I had seen and thought, that sounds pretty close for a sixth grader. But now you would do it as like there were four buddies who were in the, who who saved their friends, paralyzed friends. I bet one of them sounded like Ed Wynn. It would always be Ed Wynn, right? Yeah. And how would that go, Nick? Uh, a little something like this. <laughs> oh boy, I gotta get you from this burning wreckage. You know, something like that. There we go. All right. Um, <laughs> and maybe the second guy was sort of like a slim pickings. I'm telling you one thing, I'll go with you. <laughs> I, I've seen him do it. I oh, know I the Lord will touch his heart and touch his heart and touch his life, might even heal him. <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly what these four did. Maybe the third one, maybe he was sort of like a Barney Five. Well, sure. Let's go get him. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> I think he did this one a few a uh, couple weeks ago. Yeah, uh, at, at a different church. Uh, he yeah, different sem- yeah. seminar. Yeah. yeah, same exact impression. Bless his little heart. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one of them was a sort of a Jimmy Stewart type. No, all right, that's good. Let's go get him. But we gotta be careful <laughs> because sometimes when you're paralyzed, your bones are fragile, <laughs> and you could break them. Is that true? <laughs> and then the Duke kind of fella said, well, if we do, the Lord will have to heal him. Let's go get it. <laughs> Just see how, he, see, how Everybody cute, me. see how he cued them to clap? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, watch, watch this little jiggy do. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I don't know yeah. why, but I, I always think of Edwin. I always think of what he'd do if he, he happened to be there. And Four Edwins were there. <laughs> his, his Jimmy Stewart isn't bad. It's, it's fine, but it's just always like, you know, oh, it's a wonderful, wonderful life. You know, it's always just like the it, stuff. That everybody can do it. Yeah. 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 Everybody can do it. But, right. Yeah. He's um, paralyzed. Right. Yeah. <laughs> As he's famous uh, for he's saying. saying some horrible things about yeah. It, yeah, being paralyzed. It's, it seems like a very traumatic well, situation. Yeah, right? no, it was, it was a uh, a Bible verse or something. There was something mm. in the Bible, a parable in the Bible of like four guys going to get a. I think this is what it was. I yeah. see. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah. I four Edwins going to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, well, we also play a lot of videos from a production company from uh, Minneapolis called Scimitar. <laughs> Everybody ready?
ready to be irritated? Yeah. Heck yeah. Okay. I mean, this, we, yeah. we were just irritated with Swamberg, so I feel like <laughs> we're ready for, like, for well, more irritation here. As viewers of this show know, it's just a gauntlet of irritation. And mm-hmm. uh, so this one is a character called Vitsy, who did a series of educational tapes that Scimitar put out. This one was about dinosaurs, but I, I couldn't even make it into the educational part. This is just the intro of Vitsy with uh, Scimitar. I'm Vitsy, and I know lots of things. I live right in your own team. What do you think about the audio? Is it uh, seem <laughs> crisp? I think it's perfect. I wouldn't change a thing about crisp, it. Crisp, clear. <laughs> what, yeah. Why do I know this? Is she on the cover? Is Vitsy on the cover? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, I feel like I've seen it around the office. I didn't know this was Scimitar. Yep, Scimitar put out this series. So, uh, yeah, here's Vitsy. I'm Vitsy. I know lots of things. Wanna know something? Watch me. If you got a minute or if you got ten, you're looking for something to do. I've been looking for you, my friend. And I've got so many things to show you. I'm Vitsy. I won't be spending any more time with Vitsy. I want to throw that in the trash, that tape. It, is it religious or Canadian? Just educational. Just, educational? Okay. Yep. Wants, wants to be like a, a what, what's the, what do we call it? The, uh, uh, Beekman's not World? Bill Nye. Uh, Beekman's World. Yeah, was it wanted to be a Beekman's World? I think so, but I think it predates that. It's, I think it was, yeah. But anyway, it was. Uh, I, I just couldn't make it past that. I thought, well, maybe I'll see if there's some other funny parts in that tape. Nope. I made it about it's 15 seconds. It's proof that Scimitar didn't say no to anything. They were just like, yeah, sure, we'll do it. Yeah. It's we'll, the Jim we'll Davis you. of... Uh, it is. Of, um, I don't know. Finish this analogy at home. Shitty bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, All right, we should mention that uh, this weekend we are at uh, the Mahoning Drive-In. I think it's sold out. There might be a few seats on uh, Friday, and we're going to be there. We'll have some found footage merch, and then we're hosting an evening of movies at this drive-in in Pennsylvania, and uh, everybody. it's a who's who in the VHS world. Scott from Strange Tapes will be there, Josh from Lunch Meet, um, Lenora from Midnight Rental. Uh, It's going to be a cavalcade. Kate of weirdos. Well, and, and, but I think you're bearing the lead here because Mr. Nasty is going to be there. Yes. I mean, Mr. Nasty is going to be there and we get to interview Mr. Nasty. If anybody has any questions for Mr. Nasty, put it in the comments and then we'll we'll ask if it's a good question, we'll ask him. Do you guys need uh, help yes, selling I mean, stuff so I can tag along like last year? Uh, no, we all ended, we all ended up with sunburn last time. I, I, yeah. I don't know. I, right. I don't know. If, I don't think we're going to sell anything this year. Okay. All but, right. Uh, Tell me yeah. about it. But, but tag along, George, because it was fun mm. having you along. Well, you're the one who tracked down Larry Pine, uh, otherwise known as Mr. Nasty. So. I'll go as a nasty head in uh, a trench coat and the heat and the hat. And... Oh, there'll be some cosplayers as Mr. Nasty, yeah. I'm sure. Um, all right, let's get one more thing. I'm excited to bring Greg out. Uh, we have to get into, um, oh, Flying Windows. This week in Flying Windows. <laughs> We're celebrating America's independence. So here's some uh, flying windows for a uh, fad diet program called Fit America. Is it stuttering or could you see all the... uh, No, it's fine. It's playing fine. I'm just... I'm just confused by the <laughs> these chessboard. Are the, these are the I before guess. and after picture. Yeah, the chessboard makes no sense, but uh, uh, there's just a lot going on here. Yeah, but I love I, before and after pictures. I mean, specifically before pictures. I don't really care about the afters. Uh, but here we're getting them in flying window form. But wait, wait, wait! Back, it's, back up. It looked like they were in the same spot. They it, were in the same exact position. spot, exact same uh, pose. I loved it. Yep, yep. To show the uh, remarkable difference. So, are they fishing on a boat? Is that what that is? And it's on a boat somewhere, you know. So, okay. But look, now he's in Adonis. Uh-huh. So, uh, but yeah, here we go. Here's some more Fit America. My favorite one. I like the song too. 
Welcome to Fit America. I hope you enjoyed those impressive before and after photos of some of our clients. The people in those photographs have all had great success with Fit America and did it without dieting, without giving up their favorite foods, and without being hungry. Oh, good. And that's no exactly what you're going to do. Four months ago, I weighed 270 pounds and had been under a cardiologist's care for the last four years. I was taking blood pressure medication daily, wearing a nitro patch, and several kinds of cholesterol medicine. I want a nitro patch. Four months ago, I started taking Fit America's all-natural herbal product and have lost 83 pounds in There's that time. Catch, an herbal product, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And yeah. Joe, I feel like you, at the beach, I think you aspire to be like this Barney Gold. Like, if you could... I, well, I think that's my future, actually. I think that's the direction <laughs> that I'm headed in right so now. lean into it, right? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, Joe Pickett. I'd like, I'd, I'd like to do something about it, but I think <laughs> this is what's actually going to happen. So I'm a, I'm a future Barney Goldman. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all are. I mean, let's face it. Uh, okay, time to bring out Greg. Uh, yeah, let's uh, get some raviolis. How about? Uh, there we go. Come on, let's see your raviolis. Show us 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 your raviolis. That's Greg. <laughs> Hello, Melinda's. Hey, everyone. All right, you're here. Uh, did you enjoy some of the videos? You you were able to watch all those that we had just played, right? Had you, had you seen loved, any of those? I watched it all. I loved it all. I'm really glad you finally brought up her uh, sweater with all the. It looked like firework, kind of abstract Picasso firework designs. I like your eye was drawn to that too. Okay. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, so that beginner's really guide to yeah. Mm -hmm. Did, yeah. That is a total Greg video. I think I feel like you would really like that pyrotechnics video. I like volume 42 better than that one. <laughs> yeah. You're more, oh, you're familiar. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Serious. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. So you've been you've been taking care of our TikTok for us. You you offered this yeah. like, I don't know, what, a year ago? A couple years ago? I, can't, I, I, I don't even remember. Stats. It oh, was yeah? November 15th, 2021, that you guys started on TikTok without knowing anything about it. And I had never yeah. used TikTok before that ever in my life. But we started this journey about a year and seven and a half months ago. Okay, and and how was it? Like, did it did it take off? Right, it took off right away, didn't it? Like, it did no, the first well, right? the, nope, the first three weeks was total doldrums, and then it was a DC Talk video. If anyone knows the rap group <laughs> DC Talk, uh, Christian they rap, uh, yeah. blew up. Yeah, mm -hmm. and from that third week on, it's been, you know, it had a good eight-month run where we were getting like 10,000 subs a day we, or a, a month, and uh, it was going crazy. So you guys are bona fide TikTok stars. I want everyone in the Melinda, you guys in the Melinda's to know that you oh. guys are TikTok stars without knowing it. Dream come true. Uh, How I many uh, followers do we have? Can we, can you give that stat out now? Yeah, so I got, I got, I got, so I got a little short list of stats, so. You have there's 94k followers, which I think is almost double any other platform for you guys. You got yeah. 2.8 yeah. million likes total, 35 <laughs> million views across all the posts. How many? How many and million? 35, 35 million. million. Oh, yeah. Jesus. And no, we don't uh, see a dime from this. Maybe we should yeah, care about this more. Actually, it seems we should, like, like something. Care about that. Yeah. There's just no uh, way to monetize it, I don't think. But, the, but yeah, I don't know how to do monetization. I get because all the videos are your kind of stuff. I don't, you know what I mean? I don't know how that works, but yeah. Yeah. Greg, Something when first. When you first presented it to us, I was always like, "Oh, this is like the app where everybody like dances. Like I'll see people on the yeah. street corner like still dancing is that. and doing a dance. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's still that. Okay. And then I was like, "How is yeah. how is the uh, found footage? Like how's VCR party gonna do on there? And uh, right. apparently, it's doing well. So you brought. 10 our, our top 10 best videos and i've seen That's them all right. already but nick hasn't yeah. seen them jordan no. and steve haven't seen them so these are all be surprises but um uh let's get into it the, the first thing i want to point out is that every time tiktok is brought up i always think i, I always get a certain song in my head and i think uh nick george mm -hmm. and steve i think you know what what song gets in my head and it's this one here Tick tock, all about time. I've learned to tell the time, and you know I'm just fine. Tick tock, tick tock, all about time. We've learned to tell the time, and we're right on time. Tick 
top, let's talk all about time. And now that we can do it, we're all feeling fine. Okay. So, yeah. Greg, have we put that one up on TikTok yet? It's the song absolutely. called TikTok. Have we, we put that one up? Did. How did yeah. it do? And actually, fun fact, that's where they got the name for TikTok was from this video. Oh, it's oh, from, from this video about kids t- uh, telling time. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is it, yeah. Is it me or does the clown look exactly like Drew Carey dressed up as a clown? I just always see yeah. Drew Carey. Mm-hmm. It does? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, all right. Let's get into it. Number 10. and And these are all like. I don't know. You, you cut them down to like 20 seconds long, right? So we don't have to... Probably sometimes shorter. Yeah, they're pretty short. Yeah. Um, all right. How are we going to play? Should we just play it? I mean, like, do you guys want to guess? Like, I don't know. I don't know what you guys would even... I wouldn't even know. Can you give us videos. a hint, maybe, of what the... You know, or like a clue, and we could try to guess? Because I if we're just taking stabs in the dark, I, I, don't I will know. say that uh, a fun fact about this post was that soon after it was posted, it was reposted by Fred Durst. Oh, <laughs> Fred oh. Durst reposted this next one. Okay, all right. Yeah, okay. Uh, is, that, is, is that a good enough clue for you guys? Or yeah, yeah. Um, that, let's just play it. Let's just play it. We'll okay. just play it. All right, here we go. Every <laughs> <laughs> boy. Yes. I'm not the typical rapper that you'll meet. I don't live in a box. No was I raised on the street, and as I'm not black. I don't do drugs, and I'm not on crack. There it did, is. That's do, do most. Wait a minute. Was the is the assumption that most rappers live in a box? That's what I took from it. Yeah. According yeah. to the average, yeah. 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 All right. Well, and used to live in they the streets, apparently. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah. All right. Um. All right. So Fred Durst. Uh, is he? Does he follow us? He must follow us then, right? Oh, he TikTok. follows us. Yeah, we have we have uh, we have at least three identified celebrity followers that, and Fred <gasps> Durst is one of them. And I bet you'll never guess uh, the other two. Actually, there's I other think three. I, I think I know who one of them. Um, yes, yeah. but but well, one so, of them very famous. Well, sorry, go ahead. Well, I mean, just Oops. so Fred Durst presumably posted that because he thought it was bad rapping. So he's <laughs> has some self awareness about what bad rapping is, but isn't able to. Be Nick, better himself, I Nick, guess. Nick, we want to have true. him on as a guest, so maybe stop true. talking okay. shit Although about Fred Durst. He did, he, did post, he did post another one of our videos after that that had nothing to do with rapping. So, hmm. oh, okay, all right, he's just a fan of our stuff. Yeah, the the one uh, of the followers actually does a ton of duets with our videos all the time. Uh, is very famously in Chop and Steal, your documentary, Howie Mandel. Oh, I know who you're. Howie Mandel. Uh, Howie Mandel follows yeah. us on yes. Yeah. So he does yeah. duets with the videos then. Uh, yeah, all the time, kind of a lot. Yeah, okay. he's very generous. Okay. With it. Yeah, and yeah. and then we, and there's, there's another there's one. I, I don't know ones. who the other one is. Oh, two other celebrities who follow us. Two other celebrities that follow. Yeah, yeah. I know one of them. The one of a, them. Jonas, a Jonas brother, right? Yeah, Joe. Joe Jonas. Yeah. Joe Jonas. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Does he so do like, duets yeah, with? No, I don't know. I have no idea. The way that I found out about that one was I got a bizarre message from some person that wanted me to connect them to Joe Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> so. And did you? Oh, of course. Yeah. You two okay. should meet. Yeah. yeah exactly. uh, the other one is cool. I mean, and this was actually a clip that was sent to me a couple of times. So Tom Seguero was talking about the, uh, the, the TikTok with David Cross on the, his podcast, which I thought. Oh, was cool. really? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. This yeah. was like a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, um, all right, number nine. Do you want to give a hint for this one? Uh, which did uh, uh, any of those guys? Uh... You know, this one is another uh, rapper, bad, kind of a bad rap. I found that people seem to like unintentionally bad rap or great hmm. rap. How, we have a lot of that. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. I'm going to go with the, J- the Jaleel White uh, abstinence well, rap. But that, that was a good rap, though, so that I don't think one. that. He's not ready for the good. wild thing? Yeah, no, I think the guy who had the old bo might be the. Uh, mm. might, Have you posted be. that one, Greg? The the uh, the Urkel rap know. or the. Uh, no, the, I don't have that. One. Oh no, that would kill. All right, yeah, all right. Let's see what it is. I, I want. I'm curious now. All right, here we go. Yeah. Number nine. Hey, I need a plus size cutie around the clock. 
got love for you. And we can do it all night while I sex the spot. Come on. Come on. That, yes. Is is that the whole clip that's on? That's the whole clip. Yeah. So you just put on like seven second clips like that and then and oh, people yeah. eat it up. Yeah. Okay. Today, man, their spans are really small. It's that's I love that's, I love that there's thirty five million views and Joe is just learning the premise of TikTok as we uh, <laughs> as we're doing this live. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I yeah. know, but like seven seconds, how could you fall in love with a clip that's seven seconds long and be like, oh, everybody has to see this? I don't know. I think that when, I think when they TV like guy. it, they just watch it over and over. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. It goes against our complete premise, which is to beat an over beat, beat a, a clip to death and overanalyze it and then come up with uh, remixes of it. And uh, yeah. I feel like that Goddesses clip has a lot more stuff that, that TikTok people would love. Yeah, it, we can find oh, yeah. that for more. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta send you more goddesses, Greg. Um all right, number eight access show, yeah. Number yeah, eight into the Greg. million. Yeah. How many? How many here? Million? So the first two that we just showed, nine and ten, those got about five hundred thousand views. From here on out, we're above a million. So these are the real heavy <laughs> To put that in perspective, there's probably about three hundred people watching this right now, and maybe about <laughs> A hundred of those are hitting like, but that's it. Right. Uh, we should be doing yeah. this on TikTok, shouldn't we? We should be like doing this show. On, I don't in know. Seven uh, second in seven-second increments. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah. Here's number eight. Uh, over a million views. Oh, oh this makes sense. Wow. Predict. Yeah, I could have predicted this one. Yeah. That was the TikTok one that made the most sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that one. That, I'm surprised that one's not number one. Actually, that I one agreed, and that was our first video to get to a million. But yeah, I, I'm surprised by that as well. It, it actually gets much more strange after that. It's just yeah, surprising. Okay, okay. What are we, what are we at with this one? Like 1.2 million now? Are we? Uh... Yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah, 1.2 sounds right. Uh, all right. Any uh, any hints for number seven? What number seven is? Uh. No, let's keep it a total surprise. Okay, okay. here we go. 1.2 million or whatever. Here we go. You asked for it. Oh, So yes. here goes. Now watch this. Ah! I did, oh, I am sorry. But this is exciting. Look at this color. Oh. 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 Yes. Oh. 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 Yes. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's so um, great. And now that you know how to blaze a rainbow path across everything in sight, I want you to rainbow sponge anything that isn't moving. Good old D, immortalized. Immortalized so fun, fun forever. Fact about that, one is, uh, that was also reposted by Fred Durst. <laughs> <laughs> all right i take back what i said yeah Nick, don't genius. talk shit about durst we, we want to have him on the show he might be right, one yeah. of the he might be using a pseudonym in in the uh the met um, the chat right now oh. something to break 58 it might be him if he's still there after nick yeah. insulted him he might have stormed yeah. him off i'm sorry fred i take it all back i love your music you said he was a good <laughs> rapper i love your um, rapping say i love your raps I love all your raps. You have a great rap band. <laughs> they're, Nick, they're a rap rock band. Oh, oh no, Jesus sorry, Christ. Fred. <laughs> you're digging this hole. You're digging us a deeper hole here. Uh, all right. Uh, all right, Greg, number six. What What are we at now? Uh, one point how many million? We're in the, still in around the 1.2 range. Uh, I believe we're getting into some that, are, were, that I would have thought maybe were too hot for TikTok. See, occasionally... TikTok takes down stuff that I post. Uh, occasionally, it'll get put back up, but they're very strict about things can't be too risque. They can't be too mm. sexual. So it's kind of hard to get stuff through sometimes. But I think we're getting into a little, you know, after dark. Oh, yeah, that, that's our bread and butter. So yeah, yeah Nick, yeah. a little dirty. Huh. That. Yeah, well, yeah. I do it all for the nookie. So yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, it's <laughs> difficult for me to clean it up. Exactly. <laughs> All right, here we go. Number six coming at you. Oh, 
yes. My name wow. is Joe Kramer, and I'm a massage instructor. Until I was 30 years old, I hated my asshole. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. The whole the whole That's video it. is so the whole video is so great. He keeps talking about his asshole even more than that. I know. And look, I posted the a clip from it later on where he has the giant black dildo behind him. Nothing. <laughs> 10, so I don't know. These kids, they like apparently a lot of these young kids hate their assholes. Okay. You, you just you never know you never know what they're gonna like. Is that is that the moral of the story here? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I thought Dee Grunig would have been number one on this list when, when you first sent this. She's um, number one in our hearts for sure. But I guess, yeah, we, we can't relate to the teens. All right. We're halfway there. Uh, number five. At, at this point, we could probably start guessing. Nick, like, what do you think? Like Jack Rebney, maybe? Or like. Well, uh, was that too not, hot for TV or for TikTok, though? Yeah. No, dating Jack montage. But oh, the dating I, montage. Yeah. That's a good guess. Oh, Cheeks okay came to mind for me. Yeah. Cheeks. Yep. Yeah. Um, how Col many? Uh, more steel. Cold, cold proof or whatever. More proof. More proof. Cold steel. Oh yeah, that's Greg Venus that too. The, the more proof one. Uh, one of them did really well. The other one got taken down. I don't know why they let me have one, but I believe the one where he has the knife fist and he's punching the cardboard. That one got taken mm -hmm. down for some reason. Not sure why. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, let's see what number five is. I don't think any of us are right. Here we go. Penis. No. Here's <laughs> what boys have down in front. Penis. Of course. Is the word, though it seems blunt. All boys have a penis, so no matter what you've heard, remember that penis is the proper word. Vulva is what girls have down below. There it is. Perfect timing with the bloop bloop. Yep. yep. Strong kids, uh, safe kids. Uh, the Henry Winkler starring yeah. video that had yeah. that song in it. Yeah. Did uh, did what's his name? Did uh, Howie Mandel? Did he do a duet with that one? I believe so. Yeah, I think he did. Okay. I think he did one. Yeah. What is a duet? You just sing along with the video? No, it's a duet. Kind of just means uh, like he is able to incorporate that video into a video he's doing. So usually, what he does is a split screen kind of thing where it, the video will be playing and he'll kind of react to it, and then he'll make. Oh, some okay. Joke about it. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Um, all right, number four. Uh, any guesses here? Uh, I'm saying Jack Rebney. <laughs> I will say the top four. Wrong. The surprise factor goes way up because the I would never have thought that these would do as well as they did and i don't think you'll be able to guess them because none of the guesses so far were even close to what's in the top four I, I, i'm gonna go back to the bad rapping and go with the uh, the rapping pr pregnant ladies oh yeah yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the, yeah that's a good one nothing with celebrities so far yeah nope. i don't know i'll say uh, uh frank Wachowski. the zookeeper who um who says uh in this job i see a lot of penises is one oh, of my that's good one. one of my favorite yeah, yeah. clips I, yeah that's know. an av geeks but uh yeah um all right here we go here's number oh. four let's take another look at michelle without makeup <laughs> and now with makeup wow that's the maxi look <laughs> that's it <laughs> oh shit the one the one where she one looks like mil cobra 1.3 yeah, yeah, million yeah yeah, I mean, I give you credit, Greg. It's all about pulling those little moments, you know, like we yeah. pull, we pull them into montages, but then to pull them out of that and then make them into, yeah. you know, yeah. that, that works. Here's an old yeah. man question. Do people see the video and they like it and then they repost it like you would like on or, you know, like retweet it? Is it does it work that way? Is that how it gets more views? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. No, I mean they definitely like it. I know as far as sharing the video, I, 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 yes, I want to say yes, but I'm not exactly sure. So I, but I mean, say, I don't know. That's when why we pay you well, the big bucks. Thousands of comments and everything else, but yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. But if yeah, I know if you've liked the video by a creator, it's gonna spit out a yeah. bunch more stuff from that creator. So yeah. if you get a popular yeah. video. The next one you post is more likely to get 1.2 million views as well, because those folks will get fed your your video. Yeah, Nick, you yeah. should be doing this. You know about no. it. Yeah. <laughs> well, not really. I mean, I've I've I have the app, but I'm I'm not really on it. So. Okay. Um. All right. So, uh, <laughs> top three. 
Uh, top three. Top three. What are we? Uh, all right. Any guesses here? It sounds like we couldn't even guess these, right? No. Um, I don't think craft it. Uh, I'm gonna say Jack Rebney. Have you put up Jack Rebney yet? Would Jack Rebney I do well? Jack Rebney. I think he's gotten like a hundred thousand views, but it's he's not even <laughs> cracked the top twenty. Wow. Yeah. The yeah. times they are, are changing. changing. Yeah. I know. I'm it's gonna throw out uh, really- Sister Sam from Grill Skills. There we go. I like it. That's not a bad. Good, no, he's also, not Mixie. Uh, Mixie is also on the TikTok, but is not even probably you know <sighs> not even top hundred probably. So, yeah, yes. there's no reps in that one. So, um, all right, uh, Fred Durst, uh, if you're listening, please uh, grill, do add a grill skills for us, please. Grill he skills two. He stormed out of here a long time ago. <laughs> um, all right, here's number three. Situation number three. <laughs> what? Oh. I said, get your trousers off now. I'll tell you what, Sergeant. If you want my pants off, won't you come take them off yourself? Stop tape <laughs> for discussion. <laughs> oh, but you didn't even get. You didn't even include the part where he like starts. Beating up the prison guard. Nope. That's all you that need. Part was too vi- that part was too violent for TikTok. <laughs> was it really? I thought oh, that yeah. was genius. I thought yeah. that was perfect. Yeah. It's got sex. It's got violence. It's got what everybody you know, wants. I, I will say, too, I also posted situations number one and two. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> three, three is the funniest number. And that's the a first training first. video for prison guards right is that what in that georgia is, in, in georgia in georgia yeah, yeah. right yeah, georgia corrections a, georgia right. corrections doesn't yeah. work in any other state wow no. yeah. there's techniques greg, greg are you getting a handle on this are you understanding how this whole tiktok thing works or are you uh somewhat, somewhat. okay yeah. yeah somewhat i i yeah and i'll give you a hint for this this one this come i believe this is a clip from stairway to stardom oh sure okay oh i'll hair dress goddamn it. radiator Beautiful. That was beautiful, precious. Yeah. Yeah. Good guess. Here we go. There's number two. If you knew Susie, uh, like I know Susie. Oh, 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 what a gal. There's none so classy like that fair lassie. Oh, oh, goodness me, what a chassis. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, that would be my last guess of. I know. I'm, I know. I have no. I, I know. I don't. I look. I you know. I just post them and curate them and all that stuff. I don't. And hope I, for know, the best. I, but yeah. that would be amazing if young kids were doing duets with that old man exactly. doing. Uh, exactly. If I know Susie, like or recreating you know, the dance. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like doing the yeah. yeah doing a dance, a choreographed dance to that. That would be. Yeah. Uh, we should incredible. have that guy on the show at some point, and then. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was 1993. He's about 80. So I think yeah. that was probably in the <laughs> 70s, actually. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I think uh, yeah. have him on. Yeah. That'd be great. Uh, George, yeah. track him down. Uh, all uh, right, number one. He's on number LinkedIn, one. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also on LinkedIn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, so number two, number two was at 1.4 million. So number one at 2.7 million views. Almost I 3 million no views for this one. I have no idea. This is the biggest surprise maybe on the list in some ways. I, I, I have no idea why this caught so much fire, but this was People the biggest smash. Around the planet have seen this one. People around the planet yes. have watched yes. this one. Okay, I feel like All this right. is an obvious one. Neat Pete Shuffle. <laughs> no. <laughs> hmm. uh, Huntsville Rewind. Steve's guessing all like raps, uh, which, which yeah, is bad. Well, I like I your strategy. Yeah, I get the idea. Yeah. Um, one little hint I can give is that it's a it's a educational video. It's a training video to teach people how to do something. How to you know? It's a that hmm. kind of video. Oh, the okay, screaming one. Video. Oh yeah, which how to scream, the... sing the uh, yeah. Zen and the Art of Screaming. The guy- the, the title character in this video as well, his first name is also that of an animal. <laughs> I can see the gears turning. Uh, let's I, see. I know what this one is, so I'm, I'm recording myself. Cell? Oh, it, his name is actually Animal. I was thinking of this. The, no, Mark no, no, the no, Animal McKeown? Oh, you his know. name is an animal name. He has an animal as I, first name. Here, I'll, I'll try. Uh, th- this one, Nick, we played this one on Fallon, and, and Jimmy Fallon really liked it, oh, too. Oh, Beaver Felton. Yes. Okay, here it yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> there there it is. I just let my the weight of my arm rest, and I actually do single-finger pull-ups. 
You do it for like a minute, maybe two minutes at a time, and I also do it with my thumb, and I even do it with my left hand. However, never with both hands at the same time. That'd be catastrophic. What? Tick tock, let's yeah. talk all about time. And now that we can do it, we're all feeling fine. Bye-bye. 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 See you later. See you sometime. See you. Tick tock, let's talk all about time. Tick tock, let's talk again. Bye-bye. So there it Shocking. is. Beaver, Beaver Felton, number one. By a what? mile. I'm stunned. By a mile. Oh, like th- three times as many. Was that one of the earliest ones that you put up, or was that recently, or was that? No, that was, was uh, a year ago, maybe. A good good chunk okay. of time into it. The channel was already exploding by that point, and then and when that one went, hit, I, it just, I don't even know, just went crazy. Okay. Who knows? Um, all right. So, oh, didn't you say that you started uh, to do TikTok for AV geeks too? I feel like he has to have yeah. a, a bunch of good stuff too. So yeah, he's for, got for, so for... much good stuff. Yeah, he's got so much good yeah. stuff. And I started it a couple about a week ago, and it's doing literally nothing. So please follow it. It's doing <laughs> no, nothing's happening at all. It's got each right, well, has like so... two hundred views. So I don't know what. I feel like he'd have so much good stuff. Like, have you put up that? Well, you, you can't do dirty stuff, can you? I was gonna say I put up that, all... uh, the, zo- oh, yeah. the zoologist uh, penis video, but yeah, uh, you can't all really it takes do... is one, right? All it takes is one to to hit big, right? And then, right. Yeah. what would Fred yeah. Durst like? Yeah, that's a good yeah. question. I, yeah. Before I go to sleep at night, I that's what I try to think about. and that's why you're doing such a great job. Thank you. Yes, yeah. and not just videos. Just like what would Frederick like in general? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. There's uh, our, there's ours, and then AV Geeks is TikTok.com at AV Geeks. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. No underscore. Um, all right, Greg. Thank you for doing our TikTok. I uh, appreciate it because we absolutely do not want to do it, and. Uh, of I'm, I'm happy that you, and you're figuring it out, and uh, we'll keep sending you more clips to put up there. We'll, and we'll uh, keep watching the two-hour fireworks instructional seminars. If you, <laughs> you find how do you think that nuggets. would do? How would pyrotechnics do? That would do, do so good. We put, we'll put it up in little six-second pieces, just one at a time. One, string them all together, one at a time. I could see Doris just going thing? like, yeah, this is yeah. Amanda McLean. Yeah. 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 Yep. What yeah. about the part no, where the guy's coming fun. from? It's fun. Yeah. Where the guy's coming from the door behind him? And uh, mm-hmm. behind uh, Amanda, do you remember that part? I feel like that would that would go scene. huge. That's crazy. It's as action packed as doing finger pull ups on your your dashboard. I mean, who knows? Yeah. Uh, um, and also, you got a, a a movie coming out. Well, first of all, Psycho Ape for VHS yeah. enthusiasts. I think you'll get a kick out of the fact that our pal uh, at Lunch Meet, Josh, is putting out uh, Psycho Ape. Look, look at on a yellow tape t- here too. Yeah, looks awesome. We're really proud. It looks really great. I think they've uh, they, there's only about 20 left. Uh, they did a run oh. of 50. So grab them, but yeah, they're awesome. They're they're it's a great tape. Oh, it's definitely a collector's item. They're probably going to do a limited run of this, I would assume. And then um, yeah, there's 50. but also yeah. I, I was going to say Psycho Ape is also available on Rewindo, which you also man Rewindo for us too. So if, yes. if people want to see it, they can sign up for Rewindo and they can watch Psycho Ape there. Um, yeah. Yeah, foundfootagefest.com. You can see it there. Yeah. Um, what what other stuff we got coming up on Rewindo? We uh, I just put up Sasquatch. The evidence mounts. Um, yeah. So that that's up there now. Both of those, uh, a tape from Ohio that uh, that we got. So uh, th- this yeah, tape that's that's on, like on, our on home for if you want to watch the long versions of these videos. <laughs> you know, the shortest versions are on TikTok. Then the longer versions are here, <laughs> and then the longest yeah. versions are on our streaming. It's our version of Netflix. Right. So if you want to watch the entire Ohio Sasquatch video, it's up there. Yeah. Greg, we were talking about putting up home movies. Like, but I'm on a big home movie kick right now. And yeah. uh, we were talking about putting up, uh, you were talking about putting together a project of all home movies. Like, you, you take our whole stack, we digitize them all, you edit them into one home movie that's like 70 minutes long of the best yep. parts from all of them. Um, I think yeah. that's a great idea. Basically, like a documentary almost of, of uh, that has some kind of a story, but it's made up of just these different clips from home movies. I thought would be good. And you know, also with Remindo, though, 
if there's ones that are really good, you can put the whole thing on Rolando and give people a chance to see the entire thing and stuff. So yeah, we very we should put up Nick. We sh- Nick, we should put up Queen's Home Movie on there. Actually. Yeah, really a good one. Yeah, yeah we've shown yeah. bits of that in our live shows. But Kirk's fortieth yeah. birthday. That should go up there too. Absolutely, yeah. some of our best ones. And yeah, then, see, yeah. Netflix isn't going to have that genre though. Home movie, Netflix will not yes, have that genre. They will we not be beat. posting strangers' home movies at all. <laughs> no, but we will. Exactly. And right. uh, Greg, we mentioned Psycho Ape, uh, your yeah. uh, hit indie um, uh, ape movie, ape costume movie. But you yeah. got a sequel coming out, or you're working yeah. on right now. Yeah, yeah. Somehow or another, uh, Psycho Ape One did well enough that there's demand for a sequel. So we're doing Psycho Ape Two: The Wrath of Kong. Um, and yes. uh, yeah, you know, the kicks, the, the Indiegogo is it Indie? Yes, the Indiegogo is doing really well. We're almost at the goal. Um, we're shooting in August, uh, here in LA, so we're really excited to do, get to do that. And, um, yeah, I, you know, I already I know a few of the Melindas have actually checked out Psycho Ape on Rewindo, and a couple of them have donated to this campaign and stuff, so we're really grateful for that. And, um, yeah, that's I, great. I know any- yeah, I, I'm I'm throwing this out there. Just and this isn't a joke, but like, what about getting Fred Durst on board? I bet he still makes oh. a lot of money from Limp Biscuit. I bet uh, he would be into this he kind of stuff. Filmmaker. He likes weird videos. He's a filmmaker too. He'd love to slap his name on this. Yeah, well, that Reach was a big surprise that we already know. I know. But uh, yeah, no, I, I'm gonna go to after this because I'm here in Burbank. I'm gonna just drive to the hills to his house, and then I'll just show him. I just show him the show, and then he'll, he'll, I'm sure he'll agree, right? There we go. Yeah, I'm telling you, if your behind the scenes making of photo doesn't look like this, you're not you're not making the right kind of movie. You're not making the right kind of movie. This is what. Oh, where, where do I donate? Where do I donate? You do it right here on Indiegogo. Just is there a big... Psycho Ape too? Is there a Kickstarter level where you can, or Patreon level where you can be, or Indiegogo level where you can actually get mauled by the ape? Either on yes. screen or off. Definitely, there should yeah, be. Yeah. yeah, there. But yeah, but no, you can donate. You can actually donate to, and you can get a cameo in the film. So in a way, in a way, yes, that can happen. Yes. Hmm. One listening. more thing, Greg. One more yeah. thing to promote is your your uh, movie that you just shot. You're, I think you're editing it right now. The Seinfeld. Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah what's yeah. the title of that one? Bad Brain. That one's called Bad, Bad Brain. Bad Brain. Yeah. Yes. What's yeah. what's the status on that? Because you did an uh, Indiegogo for that, and I know a lot of I Melinda's donated, and I think a Melinda flew out to be in it too, right? Yep. Big shout out to yeah. Chris and his wife, who are probably watching. Uh, thank you again, and I, I think they also donated to the Psychic Two one, so we really are thankful. But yes, uh, the Melindas gave some support to Bad Brain. Uh, we shot the movie last summer. I'm in post now. That's a little bit more involved than Psycho Ape 2. I got to put some spaceships in the sky and do some... And, and I have to animate a, a stop-motion vomit monster for that still. So there's there's some more stuff that... Is, that's a little more involved. But uh, excited about that one. It's, you know, the, the, the bulk of it's in the can and, and we're putting it together. So it's coming along. Oh, Greg, yeah. you're doing fantastic work over there. <laughs> and especially uh, on TikTok. And I, Steve, in the chat, you, you pitched an idea here. To go ahead and tell us, because I like this idea. Well, I was saying uh, we should all do a competition where we all pick a seven uh, to ten second clip and see who can do the best <gasps> when Greg puts that, it on TikTok. Because great idea. I, I'm, you know, I, I, I absolutely love what you're doing, and it gave me uh, some ideas of videos a, that I think it should work. A seven That's to a great... ten second clip, and and also the challenge is it can't be dirty. It, it I'm really out. can't have. <laughs> <laughs> I can yeah, see. It's... <laughs> Have swearing, but like even violence, like even if you just have a guy punching another guy and it's obviously like a joke, it probably won't make the cut. So yes, it's got to be pretty tame. But and, okay. and I will say what I've learned, if, if we're going to do this, the best way, if you can find a clip that's between four and eight seconds and it ends with a great punchline of some kind, mm-hmm. that's okay. the best. Yeah. Okay. Those are I'm, parameters. I'm, I'm so in on this. Okay, All right. Yeah. So, so next week, that's what we're gonna do, and then Greg, okay. we'll send them to you, and then we'll we'll tally them up, and we'll see who wins. Perfect. I, I Perfect. have a couple ideas. Yeah. Okay. That's a great idea. All that's right. Great idea. Thank you, Greg. You're the best. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah. Um, I love you guys. Thank you. Yeah. And, Thank you, Greg. Uh, we'll have you on again soon. All right. Let's get yeah. into the cyber videos. All right, guys.
right. How about uh, keeping things on the internet? Uh, these are videos that uh, don't come from VHS, but uh, internet sources. And, you know, um, a few weeks ago on Saturday Morning Cartoons, the uh, subject of kite tubing came up. And um, well, that was the episode where you weren't on that. I, one. I wasn't there, yeah. but I was on like. Did a, you watch that one? Yeah, I did watch it. And how do um, you think we did without you there? Terrible. It was unwatchable. Really? See, yeah. I don't know. What I've heard is that like it was just really like we found our like stride. You know what I mean? It was just like it really moved along, and it was just, like punchier and yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I thought I thought, I thought it was stronger. I felt like I had like a a huge weight off of my shoulders. Well, my takeaway from that episode is I want to try kite tubing. It looked like a lot of fun where a, a speedboat goes, you know, and you get pulled on a raft to, with enough force that it pulls you up into the air. And you're kind of, in an ideal world, sailing like a, a kite. But, of course, you can't control where the wind currents go. So um, Laura, who guessed, guessed it on that, or Laura from Midnight Rental, sent around a clip of... Um, kite tubing fails and i feel like this is just all kite tubing you, they're not even just well, fails this is just what happens it, and also like on the on the shatter day i did a game about like recalled toys yeah. and this is one of them and i think three people died from this one it's it's I think banned. This is like a yeah it's yeah. definitely banned for for death reasons yeah uh, but here's but definitely what's... definitely something me and my brothers would have would have played on it's still, even though people are bailing here, it still looks like a lot of uh, fun. So uh, here's some uh, kite tubing disasters. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, fun for now. He's down. He's down. I like how sweet emotion is playing there. Yeah, look at that. That looks great. Oh, oh my it's like a broken neck. Oh, he bounced. God damn. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's basically, a, yeah, I mean, they should have just called that oh, shit, because that's what everyone says. As soon as the inevitable happens, somebody My goes My suggestion to was, he's down. That was the other yeah, uh, yeah. ultimate he's title. He's down right. or oh, shit. Yeah, one it's of the two. It's just violence. It's just broken necks on every single one of them still i'd try it so you know the summer is young it's fourth of july if you're out in a boat eh, give it a shot uh steve what do you got so uh i'm doing a jock sham this week as always this was sent in by ross not uh ross from uh quiet man uh but ross who sends me in a ton of jock shams thank you so much ross and this is terry steinbach a catcher for the athletic uh the oakland athletics i have two things i want you to watch out for one I like the uh, um, the jingle. And two, uh, I don't know if I've ever told you guys this, but when I first got out of college, I used to be an extra in a lot of films and TV. I was just trying to make it into the business. Didn't yeah, know this. Yeah. Oh, super cut of Steve. But oh. I want you, you guys. Tapes? Wait, wait, wait. Before you move on. Name the movie. Yeah. We, we, we could probably find one or two. Um, oh, to. We will. <laughs> we'll save that for another day. But you're I in like you the background at a cafe going murmur, 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 murmur. Yes, like, exactly. So just pretending. I'm in, yeah, yeah. And then wow. they usually put you in like three different scenes per. You, Steve, you wanted to be a star, didn't you? He no, is. I wanted to make money. I, I, I always wanted to be behind the camera. I never wanted to be in front of it. Uh, but again, we're not set. we're not letting you out of your contract. <laughs> no matter how much you ask, you're going uh. to be. Well, I tried the whole uh, my computer wouldn't work thing, but uh, it, I guess I, I think we figured it out now. Hopefully, not come Um But anyway, the catcher, the extra, the catcher is amazing. Like you'd think he's a robot; he just doesn't move. So please pay attention to that. Ter Terry Steinbach or a different? No, uh, the the guy playing the catcher in the commercial. Okay. Terry Steinbach's batting. You'll you'll see. Yes. Okay. All right, here we go. Hi, I'm Terry Steinbach of the Oakland A's and the Sawmill. Come shop the Sawmill's Grand Slam Sale. What, what, what's up with that green screen, too? It looked weird, didn't it? <laughs> it's yeah, 100%. Look at that. Yeah. Looks weird. Well, he's wearing his green. Got, yeah, he's got a huge outline around him. It looks right. like a giant shadow. They put drop shadows at everybody. Uh, but Sail. it's at the end, by the way. So it, the catcher is great here. I mean, he obviously doesn't move, but it's the next shot uh, okay. after the right. uh, MLB. Go. Okay. Here we go. Save 30. Save 40. Save up to 50% on quality solid wood furniture for every room of your home or office. 
Be a winner. Save up to 50% at the Grand Slam sale now at all sawmill stores. We got it. I didn't see him. I didn't see that. What were we looking for? He just doesn't. He just doesn't move. Like right here. Like you see the umpire oh, gets down, but okay. even as the pitch coming, he just stays so uh, oh, still. Right. I okay. was so impressed by him. It's like okay. he doesn't move at all. All right, let's watch it again, and then let's also pay close attention to the jingle here because maybe this is a toe tapper. Be a winner. Save up to fifty percent at the Grand Slam sale now at all sawmill stores. We got it. <laughs> I mean, right. I thought Bernie moved more in Weekend at Bernie's than that. He's just so <laughs> yeah. stupid. Well, the umpire, too. Yeah. Could have yeah. been a mannequin. The umpire uh, yeah. at least moves up and down. All right. Josh you studied Hams. this video. I like that. I love it. <laughs> uh, George, what do you have for us? Well, you guys know I love local news teasers with ridiculous copy and graphics. And I've shown the super cut of, like, Christmas teasers. Um, but I was lucky to find this is a uh, seasonal one for you guys. This is what we'll start with. Seasonal things. Yankee Doodle Deadly. Herb Denenberg investigates Wednesday. <laughs> okay. Um, Yankee Doodle Deadly. Yeah. By the way, that's a great TikTok right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that. Maybe that's sure. my entry. Okay. No, I, also, I might have my entry ready. That's got to be the title of this episode, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no. But my, the main thing I wanted to show was I've been thinking a lot about Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom over the last week because, you know, there's the new movie out. I was eight when I saw this in the theater. It might have been a little early to see it. I'm sure you guys also saw it when it came out. Yep. It was very I controversial it way yeah. because of the violence, the gore. The hard scene. Yeah, it, would be, it was a local news story about the limits of PG rating. So this is an Indiana reporter who interviewed local adults and kids about it on opening day. But first, <laughs> but first, this is the lunchbox I carried around in fourth grade. It had everything a kid wanted to show to the world it, you've got white saviors right there you've got mm -hmm. hanging off a cliff over a ravine you've got getting skewered uh by a, a shrinking room and of course this guy um this is the most controversial scene Beating as, heart you, scene, yeah. as you mentioned so i just wanted just to before we see what the reactions are from people i wanted to show a clip of that but i don't want this taken down so i put skateboard surfing underneath good oh idea. good out in California where the kids are cool They got a way to get loose when they get out of school Skateboard surfing Skateboard surfing Tell your ma, tell your pa Skateboard surfing's not against the law The algorithm's like, I want to take this down but I can't <laughs> In some major cities, fans waited in line all night to be the first to see Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. It wasn't that violent. It's all in fun, I think. Would you recommend this to friends uh, of your age group? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I would. And none of it uh, bothered oh, you? Not at all. Really an exciting experience, and I plan on seeing it again. Were you turned off by any of it? No. -uh. Nope. I've already seen uh -uh. it twice. This one twice? I've already seen it twice. It showed at 9.30 and then again at 12. And I was here for both of them. I was exhausted after the first 20 minutes. Were you scared by any of it? No. It might be scary for real little kids, but I think it'd be good for, you know, seven years old or so. How old is your little girl? Five years old. Uh, was she scared by the movie? No. She enjoyed it. Did she not ever cry or show any reaction? Oh, no, she was very happy. But one mother and child walked out halfway through the movie. What was it about this movie that scared you? That all the fighting and burning. <laughs> Did you say? cry or what? All watch? the fighting and burning. Close my eyes and hug my ears. Did you finally say to your mother that you wanted to leave? Mm-hmm. It's just too much violence and gore, mostly gore. So, do you take young children to see Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom? I would say only if they don't panic at creepy crawlies and things that go bump in the night. Copy Wygant, Channel 5 News. Terrible copy. <laughs> crawlies? Things that don't go bump in the night? <laughs> and bizarre eth ethnic stereotypes that have no... Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, relationship the, to reality. Yeah. Oh, um, wow. 
that, that uh, was a uh, informative as always, journey. George. Yeah. <laughs> it was. yeah. Um, you know what? I, normally I do IMGs, but uh, it's the beginning of the month. You know what that means? Every oh, four weeks, I'm able to do a Songer clip. Songer's the uh, internet comedian. He has over 200 internet videos. And uh, Tim Herod from uh, Bastard Tapes assembles these for me. This one is a 4th of July Songer. And I almost oh. feel like maybe, I don't know, maybe we want to put our hands over our hearts during this one or maybe salute this one. I don't well, know. I'll rip like, out my heart. Or it. maybe rip say, out your heart. Hand, hands yeah. over our eyes, maybe? Any one of those four. <laughs> any one of those four that you want to do. Uh, so here it is. This is a, a Songer Independence Day. Here we go. Are you quite aware of how the United States of America was born, man, was born and re was just formed, created. You know, I wanted to reach out there. Does everybody know actually how the United States got started? And what, what it is, is if you don't know, people came from England and they founded the United States of America, you know? And pretty much, you know, our nationality became English. You know, I mean, English. Matter of fact, I think everyone here is English. You know, well, I mean, you know, everyone I mean, pretty much out. in the United States mm -hmm. is English. 100%. You know, let me put that out board. to you. English! And you know what? If you're not, our motto is... We can put it in you. We can put it in you. Hey, we can make you English. We can make you English. We can put it in you. We can put it in you. It's our motto, you know? Everyone's nationality is English. What? And if you're not, we can put it in you. Oh, yeah. You know, hey, you know what my nationality is? I'm German. I thought and if was you want to be German, I can put it in you. I can put it in you. I can make you German. I can put it in you. I can put it in you. I can make you German. I can make you squirmin. I can put it in you. I can make you German. Sorry, guys. I just got a little emotional during that one. We all did. Is yeah. this full-time job a uh, history teacher? Is that what he does when he's not making the videos? I mean, clearly he knows he knows everything about the United States of America. Yeah, it's so an American history teacher. So somebody mashed that up with at home with English. Um so that okay. you know, if you're not English, he can put it in you. He but, can put it in right. you. Yeah. I can, right. I can put English in you <laughs> through through ejaculating into is that what he's implying? Like if he ejaculates, then he can make you English, even though he's German. That medically, that's how it works. Is okay. That your nationality right. Well, involved. we should talk to Doctor uh, to Judah about that and see if that's how it works. All right, that's Cyber Videos. And uh, what are we doing? Oh, we should mention, we talked about this for uh, folks coming to New York on August 19th and 20th. We've got a big show coming up on August 19th. We're doing Volume 10 in Brooklyn, and we're opening our offices. So uh, that afternoon, you can come check out uh, where Joe is now. Uh, see all the tapes behind him, and uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, and now uh, we have a VIP package on our website that... Uh, Non-patrons can take advantage um, if there are still slots left on our uh, website, foundfootagefest.com. Uh, go check it out. Yeah, it's uh, so we're doing Saturday morning cartoon taping in a, a small back room of a bar. So we only have a, a <laughs> finite amount of people. And we put that up to the patrons first. We're going to put it up to everybody. If there's tickets left, I don't know. We're pre-taping this, so I don't know what the count is at. But we will make that available to everybody. We also have uh, swag bags full of will be a there will be a tote in there. There'll be a Melinda Khan 2023 T-shirt that uh, our buddy JC made. Uh, it's really it's a good. good. We're keeping it yeah. a, a, a secret. Um, what else is in there? There's all. There's so much stuff. Buttons. Throw, custom uh, buttons. Uh, yeah, we're gonna throw in a bunch of uh, lanyards. 
this is like a real convention. We're gonna have lanyards in yeah. there. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So there's a bunch of stuff. Uh. Yeah. Go more the, than lanyards and t-shirts. Yeah. yeah so go to the website. There'll be some fun surprises. It's basically we're calling it the VIP package. So uh, we're now opening that up. But, of course, we we want everybody to support us on Patreon.com, but if you can't financially do that, and you still want to take advantage and uh, get the VIP stuff. Uh, go to the store and uh, on our website and and pre-order that. And also, you don't have to buy anything to come out to VHS. What do we call it? MelindaCon. Like you can come to the open house. You can do all that stuff without having to buy this thing. So yeah, it's, it's just, just like for those who want thing. the merch, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's just yeah. extra bonus merch. Uh, otherwise, you can come to the open house. Uh, the tickets are uh, Bell House. Uh, you know, foundfootagefest.com. You can get the tickets to the Volume Ten show. Um, yeah, so just you know, we're trying to yeah, trying to trying to make a buck here, trying to uh, you know. Well, we're trying to do something fun for people who are flying in to come see us for this big uh, summer event. It's been so long but, since we've been able to have uh, people into our office. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's been like four years since we did the last one. But really, we're trying to dig our way out of this hellhole that we live in right now. So As always, that's more of what we're trying to do. Uh, EP um, mode. What do you want to watch for our bonus episode for Patreon? I want to watch Pyrotechnics. I really do. Two hours. <laughs> Maybe spread what it over it? a few years. <laughs> yeah. What, what about um, what about like the first fifteen, 15 minutes? minutes or so? Uh, All right. Or, sure. or maybe the last fifteen. Maybe the first seven and a half minutes and the last seven and a half. I know minutes. you're clamoring this for, but but let us know in the comments. Are you clamoring for this? <laughs> Uh, do you want to see more of this? Well, we'll watch it. We'll watch it. We'll, we'll be holding to our taxpayers, but you know, uh, let us know. We we got some other ideas too. But should uh, you wear? Are you guys going to wear cotton when you watch it? Uh, yeah, no. we have to. You can't yeah. wear synthetics. Oh. Yeah. Oh, 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 is that what it is? Wait, well, yeah. you have to wear synthetics. No, you no. can't. No, you can't wear oh, okay. It sounds like no. somebody needs oh, to watch. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I might need to watch the whole thing, George. Yeah. I was too distracted by the men that were coming in through the door. In the back. Yeah. <laughs> well, because it's Fourth of July, we're going to go out with a classic. We got some singing babies who are, are going to remind us why America is so great. Uh, but yeah. until next week, we'll be uh, right back right after these. Uh, uh, right after these words. It, it sounds to me like those babies are Yankee Doodle Deadly. Are they? <laughs> they are. Okay. You'll see. All right, here's the thing. If we had been prepared tonight, we could have done better. Please uh, check out and support Quiet Man the Band. Uh, my nose isn't full of yuck anymore. I like to ram it, as you can see. Nobody likes ramming more than me. Happy Fourth of July, everybody. <laughs>Dr. Selmer will complete the bunion surgery. Yes, those are his pajamas he's wearing. All right, I gotta go. That's all. That's it. Let me see that one. Rocks are done. Gotta sleep. Bye. That's it. That it done. We did our best. If we'd been prepared, we could have done better. What do you think about Bibra? About what? In a... My nose is for yuck anymore. Ooh. That's all I'm doing. Cheerio. Have a good day. Sizzler. Tinkerbell. We'll be right back right after that. Good luck from all of us at Hagen. And Kurt Polster, the real great guy. Night, night. Goodbye. Jim's coins in Hilda.